Xin chào các bạn học sinh thân mến, cô Hiền và thầy Hans. Hi. Thầy cô đến từ trung tâm ngoại ngữ Solo English. Hôm nay thầy cô sẽ giúp các con ôn tập lại kiến thức của bài 8 à, chủ đề This is my pen trong sách giáo khoa lớp 3. Đầu tiên các con sẽ cùng ôn tập lại phần từ vựng về chủ đề đồ dùng học tập. Nhưng lần này các con sẽ có nhiều từ mới hơn về ví dụ như quả địa cầu, cái kéo hay là cái máy tính. Phần tiếp theo, các con sẽ cùng ôn tập và phân biệt lại cách sử dụng của these và those. Phần cuối cùng, các con sẽ cùng luyện tập với thầy Hans. Bây giờ các con hãy cùng bắt đầu bài học với thầy Hans nhé. Hi everyone, welcome to the lesson. My name is Hans and I'm an English teacher here at Solar English School. So today we are looking at this is my pen Unit 8, Part 2. I hope you uh, watched uh, Part 1 where we looked at a lot of vocabulary for school things and we looked at this and that. This is something and that is something. We're going to take that a bit further today. So let's start with some more vocabulary for today. Things you will find at school. So first we've got Globe. Globe. Can everyone say globe? Yes, very good everyone. Let's spell globe together. G-L-O-B-E. And there you can see the globe. Normally we talk about the earth being a globe. All right. Next word is computer. Computer. Can everyone say computer for me? Yes, great job everyone. And let's spell computer together. C-O-M-P-U-T-E-R. Computer. Great job everybody. Next word is picture. Picture. Can everyone say picture for me? Excellent. Great job, everyone. Let's spell picture together. P-I-C-T-U-R-E. Picture. A picture can be of anything. Here you see some dice in the picture, but you can make a picture really of anything. All right. Next word is Chalk. Chalk. Can everyone say chalk for me? Yes, very good. And let's spell chalk together. C-H-A-L-K. Chalk. It's normally what the teacher uses to write on the board. Chalk. Okay, our next word is board. Board. Can everyone say board for me? Excellent. Great job, everyone. And let's spell board together. B-O-A-R-D. Board. Okay, very good. Then we've got scissors. Scissors. Can everyone say scissors for me? Yes, good job everyone. Bit of a difficult word to say, but just keep practicing it. Uh, it will get easier. Let's spell scissors together. S-C-I-S-S-O-R-S. -S -S scissors. Scissors. There you can see a picture what you use to cut things with. Cut paper. Scissors. All right, next word is glue. Glue. Can everyone say glue for me, please? Yeah, great job, everybody. Let's spell glue together. G L U E. Glue. All right, glue is what you use to stick things together, to stick one paper on another, a picture onto a paper. 
All right, great job. Then we've got paper. Paper. Everyone say paper for me. Excellent, great job everyone. Let's spell paper together. P-A-P-E-R, paper. Great job everyone. All right, so those are our vocabulary words for today. Let's go ahead. Oh, we've got another one, pencil sharpener. Pencil sharpener. Can everyone say pencil sharpener? Yes, great job everyone. Let's spell that together. P-E-N-C-I-L-S-H-A-R-P-E-N-E-R. -E -E Pencil sharpener. Quite a long word that. Be careful with that one. All right, great job everyone. And bookcase. Bookcase. Can everyone say bookcase? Great job, yes. Let's spell bookcase. B-O-O-K-C-A-S-E. Bookcase. All right, great job, everybody. Then we're going to go ahead and look at our structure for today. These are plus a school thing. So, these are something. Um, and it will be school things. Now we're looking at more than one, so the plural. That's why we are using these and are, because there is more than one. So, here is an example. These are pencils. These are pencils. Can everyone read that sentence for me? Excellent, great job everyone. These are pencils. Okay, and our second structure, those are and school things. Those are plus school things. So we've got these and those. Uh, these meaning something that is close to you, these over here, and those over there, far away from you. So, an example, those are rubbers. Those are rubbers. Can everyone read that sentence, please? Yes, very good. Great job, everyone. Those are rubbers. Okay, so let's try some exercises using those vocabulary words and the structures we have seen today. First, just the words. So, fill the missing letters. You need to find the missing letter in these words to make some of the vocabulary we have seen today. So, number one, who can tell me what is the missing letter? What do you guys think? Yes, great job. There is an O missing to make the word globe. Everyone say globe. Excellent, great job everyone. Number two, what letter is missing from this word? What do you guys think? Yes, great job guys. It's a U to make the word computer. Everyone say computer. Very good, great job everyone. Number three, there are two letters missing in this word. Something your teacher uses to write on the board. Who can tell me? Yes, great job. A and L are missing in the word chalk. Chalk. Everyone say chalk. Excellent job. Number four. What do you guys think? Three letters are missing here. Something you use to cut paper. Who can tell me what is missing? Yes, great job everyone. I-S-S -S to make the word scissors. Everyone say scissors. All right, excellent. Number five. What letter is missing 
from this word to make one of the vocabulary words we learned today. What do you guys think? Yes, very good. U is missing to make the word glue. Everyone say glue. Great work, everyone. And the last one, we have two letters missing. Something that you write on or your teacher writes on. Who knows? O and A are missing in the word board. Board. Everyone say board. Excellent. Great job, everyone. So remember those vocabulary words we have learned today. Let's go ahead and try our next exercise. Use the suggestion to make a sentence. So there we've got words in a sentence, but they're not in the right order. You need to move them around to make a sentence. And remember the structures we learned today. So what do you guys think? Who can tell me? All right, yes, great job. Our sentence is, these are Huang's scissors. These are Huang's scissors. Everyone read the sentence for me, please. Excellent. Great job, everyone. Let's try another one. Same thing. Look at the letters that are in the wrong order and try to make a sentence using the structure we have learned today. What do you guys think? Yes, very good. These are his computers. These are his computers. Everyone read the sentence for me, please. Great, excellent, everyone. These are his computers. Let's try another one. Once again, the letters, the words are in the wrong order. You need to move them around to make a good sentence. do you think? Yes, great job. Those are three pencil sharpeners. Those are three pencil sharpeners. Everyone read the sentence for me, please. Excellent. Great job, everyone. And we'll try one more. Same thing. Move the words around to make a good sentence. A good grammatical sentence. What do you think? Yes, very good. Those are five pictures. Those are five pictures. All right. Great job, everyone. So remember all that vocabulary we have learned today and using those structures these are some things, plural. Those are some things, plural. We're talking about more than one. So two, three, ten, one hundred, when we use these and those. So remember to come back for our next lesson where we will look at Unit 9, Part 1. Uh, it was great uh, working with you all today. Hope to see you at the next lesson. Uh, see you next time. Thank you, everyone. Bye-bye.